What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Dimensions. In the last episode we defeated Sauron in the DC Comics Metropolis area, but now we're gonna be continuing on with the story. We should have all five keystones now so we can find out what happens next. Let's continue with the story. Whoa. Oh man, he just failed. Lord Sauron, you look a bit bent out of shape. It would seem the mice have escaped from my maze, and for some reason I cannot locate them. So, Mr. Joker, what do we do if we can't find them? Uh, we make them find us? Precisely. Oh my. Try not to destroy anything in my absence. <laughs> well done, Wildstyle. It would have been a long way down had you not opened that rift. Yeah, I get the feeling that Keystone's going to come in handy. Let's find out how to use it properly then. This is the Loki Keystone. Now he can help me find my car keys. I'm just kidding. Maybe later. Hmm, okay then. Do we have our final keystone found? I'm gonna pull it off its little thing now. It's so difficult to get these things off, I tell you what. Um, and then the, finally, there it is, the fifth and final keystone. There you go, okay. I don't even need the instructions. I know exactly what to do. I'm a zebra. Okay. So there we go. And now we have all five of them. That is beautiful and wonderful. And that means only one more thing, right? I can only imagine that means we only have one more dimension to hop into. What could it be, though? Maybe it is, like, this Lord Vortex dimension, maybe? Who knows? The only way to find out, really, is to hop right on in. Let's go. Oh, my. Don't tell me we are where I think we are. Oh, we definitely are. The Wild West. And here we are. Ah, hmm? oh, chicken in your hat. <laughs> oh. Any luck finding the power signature? It doesn't even look like they've got electrical power. Well now, ma'am. I assure you we most certainly do have power of the electrical persuasion. Behold, the town light bulb. Oh no. Magnemic. <laughs> Are you in charge here? Indeed. Mere humor at your service. Have you seen anything weird around here? Mm, well, uh, I do see a lady dressed in riches. Ah! <laughs> Jeez. We'll just take a look around. Thanks. Oh, uh, th um, then uh, enjoy our fair town. <laughs> what is I'm with this crowd? It's a little congested today. Oh my! Why are there so many people? Let's do this. So is this the Back to the Future? Looks like you're from around here. Not by a long shot. No, sir. Prove yourself to these good folk, and maybe they'll accept you. Meanwhile. I have to go deal with Stinky Lomax. If we do as the Marshal suggests and help these good people, we might get some answers. Joel's a name, Joel Statter, or Dishonest Joe, as they call me. Now, I'm trying to become a straight edge businessman, and I need a change of image. Honest Joe, I'm thinking. Hey, say, you strange in. Strangers, and wouldn't mind helping me complete my sign, would you? I need my photograph taken, but the photographer's gone to see what's going on down the main street. Hmm, uh, I can help out, I guess. I don't really know how I can, but I'll give it a shot. Um, what do I do? Uh, okay, you're not really helping here. Maybe Batman can do something over here. So this is this a Back to the Future Wild West? Because, of course, Back to the Future is in this game, and the really only Wild West thing I can think of is to the Back to the Future thing, so... Can only imagine that's what this is, right? 
I have no clue. I am super duper confused. I thought they would explain that a little bit, but maybe they will in due time. But for now, we're building things. So, got to building. <laughs> would be cool if they do eventually make a full Lego Back to the Future game, because I feel like it's totally possible. Across three movies, you definitely would be able to make a full Lego Back to the Future game, I would think. Hopefully it's something we see in the near future, but for now, it being in LEGO Dimensions is pretty cool. This is a gigantic camera, by the way. The camera is stupidly huge. I don't think it was this huge back in the day. I have something stuck in my teeth. That's gonna be a terrible picture. Well, thanks anyway. Oh, well, maybe instead of being Honest Joe or whoever you are, you can be like Stinky Joe. Uh, it would fit with the stuff in your teeth and blinking and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I guess everybody blinks, but... Can you help me out? I'm a spot of bother, you see. The train is stranded in the station and cannot continue on its journey. You think you can help fix the track? The supplies should be around here somewhere. Everybody just needs our help specifically, huh? Well, we'll get to it, we'll get to it. We are tourists here. We shouldn't have to do anything for nobody. But hey, we will help after we get ourselves our due payment, which is out of all these studs. So, get some of this stuff here, and I can't beat up that, but I tried, I tried, right? That's all I can expect. Only creatures is you can grow Lego plants, okay. I mean, I, I don't really worry about that right now. For right now, I just want to see what this is. It looks like Gandalf can do something over here, so we might as well use him. Gandalf, there you are. Help us out here, buddy. What can you do here? Ooh, raising it nice and high, boom! Nice stuff, nice stuff. So can we beat this up too? I guess we can, what do you know? Let's go all ninja on it. There you go, good stuff. All right, start building, start building. Whoa. <laughs> it always looks so cool when Gandalf does it. He's like the coolest builder when it comes to looks. When it comes to speed, of course, it's always wild style. Okay, the train's coming, but we gotta finish beating up all this stuff. What happens if I just stand in the way? I'll probably die, right? Oh, ooh, ooh, I guess Batman's about to find out. Bye, Batman, no, Batman, dang it. I wanted to see you get exploded or something. Can we follow it? No, we can't. Bye, train. I didn't see that strange heebie-jeebies nonsense as you've done us all a good turn. Thank you kindly. Okay, good. I'm glad you weren't going to be a jerk about it because we did do you a favor. We could have just not have done it. All right, I think the area looks cool though, just looking out here. Very awesome, very awesome indeed. Okay. Um, anything else we can do here? Of course, get more studs. Can we take care of this? We can. Yes, take it. Take it once more, ready? Bah! <laughs> Hooray! So we just totally had to build up our stud count here. Unfortunately, in the last area, we did not get the true survivor. <sighs> That's not what it's called. The rule breaker. I wish, you know, we could have, but maybe next time. <laughs> help! Anybody? I need a bit of help here. He's stuck in poo. Ew. You a bit disgusting. I hope no one else ever has the same bad luck as me. Puh, puh. All right, that's, that's the Seamus McFly. Oh, this is Back to the Future. But I've always got to be ready in case it's a trap. My, <laughs> this is a trap, totally. Locate is used to find hidden items. Hidden items. Follow the lights on the toy pad. The, okay, then. I, I think I get this. Um, So do that. And then... It's saying, I don't, okay, maybe I don't understand this. Um, hmm. Oh, I, I think I found it. I don't really know what I did here. What What are you doing, Bat? You're scared of it. Okay, uh, I am so confused, that makes no sense, but hey, we're getting something, whoa! A little over the top, but hey, I'll take it. Um, let's hop on into this thing and get him out of the poopy. Oh boy, come on, come on, keep going, keep going. You can do it, uh, and then, oh, and it does it itself, okay. There you go, we saved you. From a poopy doom. I, just did, I don't even want to know how this is. Oh my, what's, oh geez, they're just all storming out now. Bye, everybody. <laughs> nice seeing y'all, I guess. It seems the crowd is dispersing. Maybe we can head down the main street for answers. Well, I'm guessing we can, but after, but before we do that, of course, let us beat up this, because this will give us studs for whatever reason. Sounds like somebody still needs our help, though. Huh, well, what is this? This is still the, the Lego plant. Okay, so I guess maybe we can't help her? Huh, this is so, it's so odd and weird. Another one of these things! What is that? All right, where are we off to now? Storm? Whoa, oh boy, here they are! Whoa. 
is this? Great Scott! Gandalf, pleased to meet you, Scott. What? When am I? When are you? Did you hit your head? You're in Hill Valley. Oh, no, no, no! This is terrible! I don't know. It has a certain old-timey charm. This could destroy the space-time continuum! I don't belong here! Not now! Quickly, you have to help me move my car! All right, let's help out Doc Brown! Oh, my. So to move, help him move his car seems pretty simple. Great, Scott, He's gotta do this. Quick! We need to move the DeLorean as soon as possible. All right, build this. This guy seems to have come in through some teleportation device, too. Hmm. There's so many time travelers around here. So now we got this going on. Scott! Scott! Scott, you silly car! If people see this DeLorean in 1885, then... Oh, my. Yeah, that might not be very good. Nobody seems to have noticed so far, but maybe if we drop a crate on your head, that'll fix it. First, we gotta build this up. Okay, well, how would this fix anything? We're about to find out, huh? Let's push this on off and see. Just land on just makes it worse. Just broke on his head. Um, here, let's see. Can we hop up here? Yeah, let's try. Ooh, there's stuff up here, but it won't let us, so let's just switch to somebody else here and start building. This is gonna make more of a ramp up here, I see. Okay, cool. Hmm. Cool stuff, cool. I mean, I don't get. I guess it might cause us like a space time continuum, but us being here would definitely do the same exact thing. What are we doing with this? Um, we gotta put it over here. Oh, is this like a saw? Um, okay. Wait, 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 it was almost there. It was almost there, come on. Uh, okay. This is tough. This just won't work right. Okay, there you go. Um, ooh, come on, keep doing it, keep doing it. Yes, okay. That was weird. But now we can build stuff out of this? We can. A little bit more of the ramp, come on. Boom, there you go. And then, hmm, what else can we do here? I knew it would work eventually. Ooh, good job. Now you can get into that thing. Now I'll head off to the mines and watch out for Mad Dog Tannen. He has a bit of a reputation if my history of Hill Valley is correct. All right, noted. Oh my. What's going on now? Ooh. Uh oh, everybody's hiding. I think Maybe it might we be that too. mad dog the doc mentioned. It appears to be in human form. Is it a skin changer? I think mad dog's just a name. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh! I see what's going on. Dude, it up, egg sucking, gutter trash! Help! Anybody? Huh? Uh oh. Whoever this guy is, he's a lot worse than Mad Dog. Whoever that is, they're the source of the power signature. Yes, I can feel it. This universe ain't big enough for the farmers. Then why don't you leave? Cause Ooh. I got business here, stranger. Business that I reckon you're fixing the metal with. Then it looks like we've got ourselves a reckoning. Ooh, the battle begins between us and Lord Fortech. Classic Western style. You know you don't have an actual gun, don't you? <sighs> That's okay. Well, well, neither does he, it looks like. Whoa! What is that? Whoa, watch out! It was like a New York building. Watch out. Oh, just go, go, go! Whoa! Shut you Boom. Move! <laughs> this is so much worse than the gun. Oh, hi, Homer! So is Homer just in this universe now? Another inconvenience store? Well then. Things get weirder and weird. Wow, oh, it's a lightsaber man. Is this Star Wars now? What, what is this? Why are there lightsaber men? Who are these guys from? What in the world? This is Star Wars. No, Star Wars isn't in this game now. I am so confused. What in the world is this? <laughs> All right, let's keep fighting these guys. Come on. And then we got to make sure that we survive. <laughs> this is so weird. This will take a bit more than an elvish incantation to solve. Yep, it might. But it looks like we got ourselves a color changing um, keystone here. 
will be able to handle that. Good old Quickie Mart is here too. Such, such a bizarre game when you think about it. I love it so much, but I don't know how we're gonna fight this. This guy seems really darn powerful that he can just spawn anything from any universes right in front of our faces like this, right? But I don't know. All right, get take care of these things. We can take care of whatever that is and get something out of five. So I'm guessing if we can find all five of them, maybe we can get something cool. Huh. What else can we do around here? Hmm, where, where's the green color? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, that's just a saving thing. What do we do then? Oh, Wild Style can do something over here. Um, all right, Wild Style, do a bit of that. Good job, good job. Now, Batman, it's always the Batman Wild Style combo, isn't it? All right, do that. I can hear uh, Lord Vortex laughing in the background. And then there you go. Okay, now we can build up the third yellow portal. And this will make, make it so that we can probably open up this quickie mark. But what does this say? Um, you can give up. Yep, yep, we already know that. Figured you would tell me something new, seeing how we should already know how to do this. So Batman is on my right. I'm gonna put Gandalf on my left because we'll need him over there. So we need, hmm, green. There is no green here. Luckily, yellow plus blue, um, I thought would make green. Um, oh, maybe I have to get two people with two different colors to make it so that it's green. Um, well, if that's the case, then Batman needs to become yellow, and Monster, does that make green? Well, what if I put her on the right thing? There you go, that makes green. Interesting. All right, Gandalf or Batman, now you can uh turn red, and then go up here. And then Gandalf can turn yellow. This is sort of weird, but we opened it, so that's good. The Quickie Mart is now up for business or something. All right then, with that being said though, I think we'll finish it off here. In the next episode, we'll make our way through the Quickie Mart and probably and hopefully beat up Lord Vortex. I am not sure we'll have to find out, but for now, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Western Zebra so I know you'll watch the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.